World Bank projects global economic growth to fall to 2.9% in 2019. Nigeria loses estimated $2.8 billion in revenues in 2018. Plus, Libya looks to double oil output in 2019 as security improves. This is Business Incorporated. Thank you for joining us. I'm Chimezie Ogi Iwago. First, the markets. And here in Africa, bearish sentiment remains in the Nigerian market as the index was down 0.19% at intraday. The Jersey index in South Africa was green at intraday, up 1.01%. Egypt was also in the green, and Kenya closed up 1.11% on Tuesday. In the Middle East, the Saudi stock market inched up at intraday as its bank shares gained, while most Gulf markets were firm ahead of corporate earnings announced next announcements next week. Saudi Arabia's main index was up 0.73% with RG Bank rising 0.2% and Samba Financial Group increasing 0.6%. The Dubai index rose 0.44% helped by real estate stocks. The Abu Dhabi index was up 0.53%. Qatar's index added 0.73% with United Development Company rising 3.1% and Qatar Fuel increasing 3%. And stocks in Europe moved higher in early trade as investors monitored an unexpected third day of trade talks between China and the U.S. Investors are also monitoring any signs of a potential economic slowdown in the world economy. The Fed is also on the agenda. Well, all rich bats, my colleague in Frankfurt, will unpack all of these for us from the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. Hello, all rich. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Orich, if you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you very well. Um, I hope you can hear me. Sure, I can, me. can hear, hear you, well. Orich. I can hear you very well, Orich. Well, minutes from Fed right. last week will be out today. What will people in the market be looking for there? Uh, that may also move markets, isn't it? Well, the, uh, the Fed uh, can have uh, several different messages that will scare the people here or appease them, uh, make, make them uh, calm. And uh, I'll, I'll just mention uh, one or two items. Uh, there's the wording uh, that's very important and uh, what's behind the wording, uh, what kind of debate uh, people of the Federal Open Market Committee had on, for example, the gradual uh, easing the, or the gradual rate increase, I, I should say, uh, what is meant by that? What to their mind factors in. Is it uh, the current uh, trade talks? Is it the possible trade war? Uh, an issue right now and it has been all last year and it will continue to be however it turns out. Uh, is European growth uh, going to factor into that uh, or, or growth in Asia for example? That's one thing they'll be looking out for. And balance sheet reduction will be very important. Uh, Jerome Powell uh, last week indicated that he was um, going to uh, be uh, a little bit more flexible and perhaps not on autopilot, reducing the balance sheet of the Fed by about 50 billion uh, per month in order to normalize now that the economy is strong, the labor market is strong. But he indicated because of those difficulties out there, the markets in, in turmoil at the end of last year and, uh, and those trade tensions that he might be flexible and uh, might be willing to adjust and people will look for any sign in the minutes uh, that uh, this is what uh, the people around them are thinking also and that leads to another point how much agreed are the members of the FOMC on the policy and that speaks to the question of how much are statements like those that uh, Jerome Powell made last week which uh, the market really really liked actually worth. And our new data out from Germany shows German exports declined in November. Is Europe's economic powerhouse losing steam? Well, uh, it's losing steam. Uh, I think you have to say that. The exports are going down by 0.4% uh, month on month. People didn't expect a decline like that. And the imports were down by 1.6%. And uh, that's a surprisingly high number. Uh, going down and, and remember uh, Germany 
has joined the ranks of those companies, of those not companies but countries, where consumption is a major pillar of growth and has been in the past. So that was something uh, to raise eyebrows. And this joins other economic data uh, from the past days on production and on factory orders, uh, which um, also spoke for a slowing economy. Now, I heard one bank economist uh, who was uh, visiting here in the stock market floor uh, earlier today, he, he said he doesn't expect uh, a recession. He does expect slower growth for 2019. But again, but then again, I think everyone's agreed if there is a trade war, if these trade talks don't come to a, a, a positive end, then we're looking at a different scenario. Yeah, still talking about that um, trade war, of course, is still on the agenda. Talks between the U.S. and China continuing. But then World Bank weighing in with its growth forecast for the world economy it speaks of darkening skies. A worry for market participants? Yes, it, it is a worry. Uh, the uh, World Bank is naming this very openly. And, uh, of course, it's already having an effect on growth. If you look at Germany, but if you also look at other countries, it's having very real effects also in the United States, uh, where uh, Donald Trump is uh, basically the instigator of all these trade conflicts. Um, and uh, there also you see GM having announced closing factories uh, because of the conditions in the United States. Uh, it's a worldwide problem and uh, people are paying attention to what uh, the World Bank uh, is saying here. All right, thank you very much um, for your time, Ulrich, and enjoy the rest of the day.